How's it going guys? Dunix Silas here and today I'm going to be showing you guys something a little different. Okay guys, today I'm showing you guys a completely 100% automated wheat farm. This also works for potatoes and carrots. As you can see, the villager goes around and picks up all the stuff, but if you fill up his inventory completely with seeds, he can't pick up the wheat. And so this minecart with a hopper and it goes around and picks up the wheat underneath and then brings it all the way back around into this area where it stops for a second, loads up the chest a little bit and then keeps going. Now it has a ton in the hopper right now but that's only because uh, I, I ranked up the game rule, the game mode. And so it's like going a lot faster, but I'm going to teach you guys how to build this. These is all the things you need. You obviously have to have a villager. You don't need bone meal. It doesn't have to be a diamond hoe, and you can't have a villager egg. You have to just find the villager. But let's get started. Okay, so first things first, you're going to build a couple blocks over and then build an 11 by 11 square. You can actually make this any size you want, but just be careful because this is just symmetrical and I like symmetry. Okay guys, once that's done, you're going to want to build or find the center. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will be the center. And then you're going to want to get the track and make it go all the way around like that. And then just start curving in back and forth, go around it. And then I will see you guys after I'm done doing that. Okay, so once you guys are done with that, you should have something end up looking about like this. Now be aware that the minecart will fill up with wheat, and so you need to put down some powered minecarts to make it go fast enough and make it uh, go on its own so you don't have to keep powering it. So just go around, and in random places where you think you might need the uh, powered rails, break the blocks, um, place a redstone under it, and just make sure it's powered. Okay guys, now we're going to start getting into the redstone. You do need to place a detector rail here, a, a regular rail, and then a powered rail above a hopper, and then the hoppers lead to your chest. You don't have to have it complicated like that, you can just have it how I did here. But okay, so you'll want to go next to the first hopper, you want to place the comparator where the two torches are facing it, then you want to have a block next to it, and then redstone underneath it. And then next to that redstone, you're going to click this twice. So it's going to be like that, place that there, a block, a torch, a block again, and then just redstone. So that's powered. Now this redstone isn't very complicated, it may just look complicated. So after that, you're going to want to place a block right here, place a redstone repeater leading towards the block, and you're going to click this three times also. Now the timing I may have done a little bit off so you guys can mess with that because it only stops for a few seconds, like two but you guys can mess with that yourself. Also, I messed up. This needs to be over one more block. Okay, so after that, you're just gonna place a redstone signal there. Uh. Ah. <coughs> okay, so after that, you're just gonna place the redstone there, and then this should go around, and then go right up, stop for a second, unload, and then go again. And then make sure it's powered enough to go all the way around. Now that the hard part is over, we can just go around this and place a dirt above every piece every piece except you want to leave the center hollow so the glowstone is showing okay once you guys are done with that you're going to want to place some water there because that's where that will be and then just a fence post and then that torch over there and then you just want to go around the farm area just with fences or cobblestone walls or anything, just two blocks, as long as uh, villagers can't jump over them. <clears throat> Once you guys are done with the fences, you're just going to want to go around and place all the seeds that you can. You need 121 seeds for every block, if I did my math correctly, 11 times 11. Yeah, 121. Okay, so once you guys are done with the seeds, you're going to need to get a farmer villager. If you don't know how to get a villager, just turn one into a villager from a villager zombie. Uh, just look it up on YouTube how to do it if you don't know. Uh, I think it needs to be a farmer, but I'm not 100% sure. And before you drop him down, you need to give him eight stacks of seeds because he has eight inventory slots. 
so it'll fill up his inventory. Okay guys, as you can see this is working. Uh, you should see the minecart come up underneath sometime soon. He'll replant all the crops, I just, that was bothering me. But yeah, he'll go around and replant them. You may want to place extra water around the edges because it might go away in case uh, he plants it later. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to drop a like if you did and subscribe for more videos. If you guys want more tutorials like these, I'm really getting into uh, making automated stuff. I think it's a lot of fun and it's cooler. I might start doing series on it. But I'll see you guys in the next video.